Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today I want to show you the kit for Moon Dragon and give you my thoughts on that. Look, I'll just say, you know, it's not going to be a surprise to you that Moon Dragon is a strong character. I already told you, I think the Infinity Watch team looks like something the devs are designing to be the new arena meta. It's really not tied to any particular game mode. It looks to me like a team that they want to just be all around good everywhere, i.e. arena viable. And Moon Dragon is one of the two new characters that's non-legendary. And any character that you, they want you to spend money on is a character they're going to try to make worth getting. So it doesn't surprise me at all that this is a strong character. shouldn't surprise you. Um, one thing that they mention is very high health. Uh, hopefully that's true uh, for the sake of this character because she's a healer and the, the, the uh, health that she has is going to matter. Uh, you know, look, they've been doing a lot of power creep on characters. So, you know, I, um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if her stats are pretty, you know, pretty bonkers. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, team right now or at this kit right now. So first thing I will note, th one wonderful thing that the devs have done for us here is they've made her a support character. I know a lot of people haven't, you know, put a lot of time into farming ISO, but if you do, you'll find that you have lots of a support ISO sitting around because there just aren't a lot of good support characters. I've got tons of support ISO that I haven't equipped because you know, after you get to a certain point, there's really not that many support characters. There's a lot of controllers, like an insane number. There's some blasters, brawlers now. There's two brawlers on this team, but now we have two supports, Adam Warlock and her, so that's good. Skill is nice. I think she will have some use on the skill nodes in the Doom Raid. So let's take a look at the rest of her kit, and I'm going to start with the basic here because it fits in with the passive. So her basic ordinarily, if she's not charged, is going to attack the primary target for 280% damage and then apply assist now to this new um, fifth character on Infinity Watch, rumored to be Phyla Avel. Uh, so that it'll be kind of like, you know, the uh, Proxima and Corvus sort of thing where they both attack or Black Widow and Hawkeye. But if she's charged, and she will spawn with charged if she's used on the full team, uh, it, she is going to mind control a non-summoned enemy to attack the primary target. The fact that it's non-summoned is nice. It means that there, she's not going to use a, you know, have a dupe or a, a doom bot or something attack. So it's going to be one of the primary uh, enemies on the other side. That character gets 40% damaged. Now, 40% uh, damage, that's also nice. What I don't know for sure is, does this mean that Phi Lavelle also attacks? The way I read it, yes. So if she, on her first basic, since she's charged, she's going to mind control one of the enemies, and then she's going to also have Phi Lavelle attack. So that could be very powerful. Uh, on turn one, though, what I expect her to be doing is her special. And this is a fantastic move. Starts at full energy. A bit longest, though, for a cooldown in raids. I mean, one thing I will say is her cooldowns are long. Five and six. It's kind of like Maw has very long cooldowns. In other words, a powerful character, but the long cooldowns will limit her viability in raids. So, you know, first of all, once again, we have more sort of FU to the Black Order team here. They're clearly meant to be a counter to Black Order. You know, not as much as, say, right now in Arena, but also I would say for the future, you know, years from now in Alliance War, if you have Black Order on defense, this would be an obvious counter. You know, this, if a primary target is a protector with immunity, a.k.a. Thanos or Cull, Flip that immunity, that, which means it makes it disrupted, and apply immunity to everyone on Infinity Watch, and then clear all positive effects from all enemies. Very powerful ability that's like the Emma Ultimate. Very, very good to counter Black Order and Marauders and Wave 1 and other teams, Sinister Six even, that, that rely on having a lot of buffs. Then you have something that's kind of like the Proxima Alt, although it doesn't have the stun. Attack the primary target for 320% damage and apply slow for two turns and reduce their speed bar by 50%. This really takes them out of the fight. 
So you're taking that one primary enemy out of the fight. And then this is big. That's why I said the health is important. Heal all allies for 30% of this character's max health and apply defense up and apply deflect. And this is really nice. It reminds me a little bit of Shuri in that Shuri gives you defense up right away, but then when you get low in health in raids, she stacks deflect. That works in conjunction with defense up. So defense up reduces the incoming damage by 50%, and then deflect reduces damage on top of that. So a very, very nice mechanic that really helps survivability. Oh yeah, she gains a 1,000% focus. So this is awesome awesome ability here the ultimate this is as i read it i guess this is not available till turn three um so this is a long cooldown now she might get ability energy from file of l or something like that so uh you know who knows i i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't draw any conclusions yet but her ultimate also heals all allies for 30 percent of the character's max health defense down for two turns to all enemies absolutely huge think if you had kestrel with her right you know this is uh, you know a very powerful ability i know a lot of people are excited about shatterstar putting defense down for two turns here you've got it with all this other stuff in her kit and then of course she attacks all enemies for 400 percent damage we don't know how good that is yet because we just don't know how strong her damage stat is and then here's her passive not super long like some of the other passives but look, she's going to gain charge on spawn if she's used on the full team or almost the full team. So her first basic will be that mind control. And then on kill, gain charge. You know, I think this could lead to some interesting situations. For example, let's say you're fighting the Inhumans. You could have her be the one to get the killing blow on Crystal so that she can, on her next turn, mind control Black Bolt uh, to kill Yo-Yo or something like that, right? Um, so I could see some, some uses for, ma you know, making sure she gets charged. As I read this, I doesn't seem to like she could have more than one charge. She's either charged or not. Like this isn't plus one charged, but we'll have to see. I mean, the, the devs text is often inaccurate, which is why I don't have a lot of final thoughts based just solely on these releases. Uh, take everything they say with a grain of salt. Uh, and then when this character or in any Infinity Watch ally drops below 50% health, apply plus one defense up and plus one deflect to that ally. Very powerful mechanic there. It's kind of like how Shuri does that in raids, uh, but this is in any game mode. Uh, you could think of it a little bit how Night Nurse does that, uh, you know, when uh, a Shadowland ally or herself drops below 50% health, she gets defense up. But here, it's defense up and deflect. Uh, so, like I said, kind of like a cross between those two mechanics. Unlike N Night Nurse, she does not get turn meter here. And then, look, a flat 60% extra focus and resistance for the whole team, which is very nice. A lot of us were running Cosmic Heroes with Silver Surfer just to make sure that the team got 50% focus. This is 60% focus that's unconditional. So, you know, very, very powerful uh, kit. I mean... Uh, you know, I know that some people have said they, they're not as impressed. I got to tell you, you know, I understand that characters like Surfer and Kestrel have uh, spoiled us. Like, we expect every character to be ridiculous, insane OP. But, man, this is really good. I mean, you compare this character to a character like Emma or a character like Night Nurse or a character like Shuri, all of which are important characters that we use uh, in different game modes. And she has a very comparable kit. You could argue that she's better than, you know, some of them. But, I mean, I, I don't want to get in too much into comparisons here because I don't know the stats. Scopely sometimes gets these things wrong. They're, they're text wrong. So I'm not going to have any final judgment here. But my first impression is very strong character. You're going to want to get the character. Hopefully it's a release that's, that's friendly for all players, although I'm not holding my breath. Uh, and it, you know, once again, it's just another sign after a very strong Adam Warlock kit, uh, and big rework uh, for Gamora and also uh, Nebula that they are going to make this a super OP team. All right, guys. So if you, if tell me your comments below, tell me your comments on my discord, that link is below. Yeah, I also have a Twitch stream where I go over all this stuff and answer questions every evening, do roster reviews and discussions about the game, all that kind of good stuff. So check that out as well. Uh, and please, smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you like this video. All right? Thanks for all of your support.